Hi everybody, this is Serge Aguillon and today we will live in the Van Gogh experience. For that, we'll talk about of some ones of his most famous paintings. Vincent Van Gogh and the issue with his heir. What really happened? Too many Vincent Van Gogh, it seems, has tormented and depressed artists who suffer from a terrible mental illness. His report that he ate the paint he used for his creation and will drink turpin as a way to commit suicide. One of the most whispered histories about him and his battles throw when it he could off his ear. However, new reports show that he may not have actually done this act together. It's a history that has been passed on through art history. On December 23, 1888, Van Gogh during one of his frenesies cut off his ear with a razor. This horrific act is documented in many of his paintings and drawings such as his self-portrait with bandaged ear and hasn't really been something that has been questioned until now. Some art historians now say that there is possible proof that Van Gogh didn't his ear off, but rather lost it during a row with his friend Pauline Gauguin, also a painter too. They believe that Gauguin was grown tired of living with Van Gogh and was going to leave his famous yellow house in Arles, France. So he could venture off to do own excursions. It's not entirely now why Gauguin has his word of felt the need to use it, but it's widely believed it could have been part of this fencing equipment as he was a passionate fencer. While there is not hard evidence of this many historians point of to Van Gogh's letters and drawings as proof. In one of these many letters to his brother Theo, Van Gogh writes about how Gauguin lost his facing blade and gloves while it's in the house. There are also Van Gogh sketching of an ear with inscription ictus on the bottom which it's a Latin fencing term for heat. However, this new theory isn't without protest. Many other historians disagree with the statement point of the really begin no concrete proof of these claims. Why? While they say it might have happened, the truth never truly be known. For that, we will talk of things that we are really sure. Some paintings by Vincent Van Gogh convey to those who observe them the sensation of turbulence phenomenon are arise when a fluid presents unpredictable change in his properties, principal speed and pressure. It manifests as words on a different scale in currents that can be of water, air, and even in the interstellar clouds. This hypothesis was tested over 11 years ago by José Luis Arafón Vera, director of the Amplified Physics Center and Advanced Technology in collaboration with Gerardo García Nomis, researchers of the Physics Institute, Manuel Torres Hernández of the Higher Council of Scientific Research in Spain, and Philip K. Many from Oxford University. They analyze the starry night of the Dutch painter and conclude that he captured the essential of turbulence and transmits them to his painting. But without knowing much about the physical phenomenon, which today its understanding remains of the great scientific problems. To Australians, Scientists show it that the turbulence of the starry night is inferred from the power spectrum. They calculate its very similar patterns to the turbulence observed in the molecular clouds of the space, 
which give rise to the stars. One more proof that Vincent Van Gogh was a privileged mind of a head of his time. Well, everybody, this is everything for me. See you later, and cheers from Thunder Bay. Bye-bye.